Recently, the Pentagon is sending 12 Air Force F-22 Raptors to support NATO Allied Air Command at the 32nd Tactical Air Base in Lask, Poland, according to an Air Force report. Air policing will be the primary mission of the F-22s, the service report says. According to a USAF news release, as part of NATO's plan to bolster its collective defense posture, the 90th FS will take over the mission from the Vermont Air National Guard's 158th Fighter Wing, which has been executing the coalition's air policing mission since their arrival in theater. This F-22 deployment will add significant capabilities to our support of NATO's collective defense, Hecker said. The Raptors' ability to perform both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions will exponentially increase the warfighting capability along the eastern flank as this rotation supports NATO's air shielding. NATO air policing is a peacetime mission, which aims to preserve the security of Alliance airspace. It is a collective task and involves the continuous presence 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, of fighter aircraft and crews, which are ready to react quickly to possible airspace violations. NATO air policing is a collective task and a purely defensive mission involving the 24-7 presence of fighter aircraft, which are ready to react quickly to possible airspace violations. NATO members assist those allies who are without the necessary means to provide air policing of their own territory. The Supreme Allied Commander Europe, Sasser, is responsible for the conduct of the NATO air policing mission. Preservation of the integrity of NATO airspace is one of the missions of NATO Integrated Air and Missile Defense. NATO air policing is one of the permanent peacetime missions of NATO. The supplemental U.S. fighters will provide improved capabilities in the region and demonstrate a seamless integration into the long-enhanced air policing missions, said Brigadier General Joel Carey, Allied Air Command Deputy Chief of Staff Operations. These deployments demonstrate the Alliance's ability to rapidly and effectively deploy assets to vital regions to assure partners and safeguard Allied airspace, he added. Since 2014, the NATO Alliance has implemented assurance measures with the goal to assure the Allies along the eastern flank. One tool in this set of measures is the concept of enhanced air policing, which demonstrates NATO's solidarity, collective resolve, and its ability to adapt and scale its defensive missions and deterrence posture in response to an evolving security situation. In the air-to-air -air configuration the Raptor carries six AIM-120 Amrams and two AIM-9 Sidewinders. The F-22 has a significant capability to attack surface targets. In the air-to-ground configuration the aircraft can carry two 1,000-pound GBU-32 joint direct attack munitions internally and will use onboard avionics for navigation and weapons delivery support. The F-22 can also carry eight 250-pound GBU-39B small-diameter bombs, SDBs. The Raptor also carries two AIM-120s and two AIM-9s in the air-to-ground configuration. The air shielding mission is designed to increase the air and missile defense posture along the eastern flank of NATO's alliance and is purely a defensive mission to shield and protect allied territory and populations and is a key component of NATO's deterrence and defense posture.
Six F-15E Strike Eagles from the 48th Fighter Wing, Royal Air Force Lakenheath, United Kingdom, are being forward deployed to Osk Air Base Poland to temporarily support the U.S. contribution to the NATO air shielding mission. The F-22s will ultimately take over that mission. Our airmen are well trained and ready to assist our NATO allies, Hecker said. Our airmen's ability to adapt, support and integrate with NATO's air shielding mission shows our ability to respond to an ever-changing dynamic warfighting environment and strengthen the alliance. The F-22 is a critical component of the Global Strike Task Force and is designed to project air dominance rapidly and at great distances to defeat threats. A combination of sensor capability, integrated avionics, situational awareness, and weapons provides first kill opportunity against threats. The F-22 possesses a sophisticated sensor suite allowing the pilot to track, identify, shoot, and kill air-to-air -air and cruise missile threats. The EDCA enhances security cooperation and the long-standing defense partnership between the US and Poland. The F-22 has certainly established its ability to deploy in recent years, particularly in light of the Air Force's Rapid Raptor program now in place for several years. The Rapid Raptor program, focused on speed, maintenance, readiness and deployability, stipulates that F-22s operate with an ability to deploy anywhere in the world within 24 hours. The program prepares four F-22s and crew members with C-17 support, fuel and weapons with the specific purpose of enabling a first strike capability in remote or austere places around the world. Readiness for the F-22, Air Force officials explain, hinges upon a new software delivery strategy which sees incremental improvements less as products for pre-planned, spread-apart adjustments, but rather a steady continuous pipeline of upgrades. This modernization approach, firmly oriented toward sustained readiness for combat, has been in place with the F-22 for many years now. Several years back, the Air Force and Lockheed Martin put a fleet-wide F-22 upgrade in place called 3.2B which added new software to several of its cutting-edge weapon systems. The idea, as explained by senior Air Force weapons developers many years ago, is to enable a continuous and ongoing stream of upgrades and avoid having to wait for software blocks or increments which can take several years to develop.